Is this a good arrow? We're forming a pi bond. That's when we got to be careful. Uh, we're forming a pi bond, and this atom that's gaining the pi bond is not a carbocation, and it's not losing a pi bond. So by itself, this is a bad arrow. This arrow is wrong. We're going to have to fix this somehow. Uh, how can we make room for this new pi bond? Well, the only feasible way is to move this pi bond off. So we can move this pi bond off like this. Now these arrows are okay. It's true that we're forming a new pi bond with this carbon, but we're making room by moving this pi bond off. So that's going to be okay. And this arrow is forming a lone pair. That's when we don't need to worry about exceeding an octet. So these are reasonable arrows. Incidentally, the resonance form that you would get from this would be very insignificant. You probably wouldn't really draw it in real life. But uh, again, we're not really worried right now about getting interesting or significant resonance structures. We just want to really focus on making sure that we don't exceed octets. So the only thing that we're really focusing on in this portion of the videos is making sure that we don't exceed an octet. Is this legal? Well, we're forming a pi bond. That's when we got to be careful. Um, and this carbon here is not a carbocation, and it's not losing a pi bond. So this is not legal. We must be exceeding the octet rule over here. So this is not legal. Notice that we can see that we're exceeding the octet rule without actually drawing in the new resonance structure. Uh, because of what we've learned, we've learned that any time you form a new pi bond, if it's not with a carbocation, and it's not with an atom that's losing a pi bond, that's automatically going to exceed the octet rule. All right, what can we do to make room for this pi bond? Well, to make room for that pi bond, we might try moving this pi bond. Uh, so let's try uh, moving this pi bond. One thing we might do is this. Does that seem legal? That's fine, because that's forming a lone pair. Remember, we never exceed an octet when we form a lone pair. So this would be a good way to make room for this pi bond. Now this carbon would be gaining a pi bond and losing a pi bond. So this, atom, uh, this arrow would save the day. Any other arrows we could put here to move this pi bond that would save the day? Would that be reasonable? Uh, well, now we're forming again a new pi bond. We've got to be careful because we're forming a new pi bond over here. Uh, but now we're forming the pi bond with the carbocation. Remember, that's always cool. It's fine to form a pi bond with the carbocation because carbocation's got plenty of room for more electrons. A carbocation always has plenty of room for more electrons. Um, so now we know that we don't need to worry about exceeding an octet. And we don't need to worry this is going to exceed an octet because it's gaining a pi bond and losing a pi bond. It's fine to gain a pi bond if you're also losing a pi bond. So this is another arrow that would allow us to keep this arrow back here. So this is also good. How about this? Um, remember that we know we have to move this pi bond out of the way to make room for this new pi bond coming in here. We're forming a new pi bond to this carbon, so we've got to move this pi bond away. Would this arrow solve the problem? Yeah, this is messed up in a bunch of different ways. Uh, but one big problem with it is, remember, in order for this carbon to gain a pi bond, it has to lose a pi bond. But it wouldn't really be losing a pi bond here, because we just be, uh, instead of having the carbon uh, have a pi bond uh, up here, it would just move the pi bond down here. Um, so this uh, would not really move the pi bond off of this carbon. This arrow doesn't really move this pi bond off of this problem carbon. Instead, it just moves the pi bond down to the lower bond down here. So this would not be a good way to make room. Uh, we have to form the new pi bond with an atom that's losing a pi bond, not just shifting a pi bond. This would be just be shifting this carbon's pi bond from this position to this position. That doesn't solve our problems at all. So this um, does not qualify as making this carbon lose a pi bond. There's other things that's wrong with this arrow too. So this arrow is messed up in a bunch of ways. But one problem with it is um, that it's just shifting this carbon's pi bond to another position instead of actually making this carbon lose this pi bond so it can make room for a new pi bond. Is this a legal error? Well, we're forming a lone pair. That's always fine. So this is fine. Forming a lone pair is fine. It's only when we form a pi bond that we have to worry about exceeding an octet. So that's good.
Is this legal? Now we're forming a new pi bond. That's when we got to be careful. Um, well, we're not forming it with a carbocation, so this is not legal until we make room for it. So just as it stands, this arrow is illegal because there's no room for a new pi bond on this carbon. The only way to make this legal is to move this pi bond off. Where can we move this pi bond? Uh, well, we definitely can't just move the pi bond over here because then the carbon, the problem carbon would still have the pi bond. It doesn't do any good to shift this carbon's pi bond from the right to the left. It still won't have extra room for this new pi bond coming in from below. So this won't work. That's a, not a good solution. How about that? Is, that a, is this a solution? Is this a good way to move the pi bond off of this carbon to make room for this new pi bond? Well, this is making room on this carbon. It's moving the pi bond off. Uh, but now we're forming another pi bond over here. And that, again, is a problem because we're not doing it with a carbocation. Um, I've changed the picture, so this is not a carbocation anymore. This is not a carbocation. And this doesn't have any pi bonds that it could lose to make room. So there's no way to make this arrow work. Another way to see this is this, this, this carbon is just not a candidate for resonance because this is not a candidate for resonance. That's another way to see. There's no way to make this arrow work. So what can we do? What can we do to make room for this new pi bond? How about this? Yeah, that'll work. This will move this pi bond off of this carbon to make room for the new pi bond. And now we're forming a new lone pair up here. There's always no problem to form a lone pair. It's only pi bonds that can exceed an that could give us trouble with exceeding, exceeding an octet. Forming a lone pair is not a worry. So this would be legal. Remember again that a lot of the transitions I'm showing here would not really be very significant. You might not actually draw them in real life, but our goal here is just to practice how can you make legal arrows that don't violate, that don't exceed an octet. Is this legal? Well, this is forming a lone pair, so that's got to be okay. We don't need to worry about forming lone pairs. So that would be fine. Uh, and this would actually give us a very insignificant resonance structure that you wouldn't normally draw, but that's not what we're focusing on. We just want to make sure right now that we're not exceeding an octet. So this does not exceed an octet. How about this? Is that legal? Now we're forming a pi bond. That's when we got to worry. Uh, forming a pi bond, we're not doing it with a carbocation, so this is not legal. Uh, unless we make some new room on this carbon, which we haven't done yet. So as it stands, this is illegal. How can we make room here? Well, how about this? Would this be a good way to make room? Well, um, this fixes the problem with the first arrow. Uh, now, it's perfectly okay for this carbon to form a new pi bond because it's also losing a pi bond. So now the first arrow is fine. But what about this new arrow? This new arrow is also forming a pi bond. Um, and uh, that's violating, uh, exceeding an octet uh, because uh, this is not a carbocation and we haven't moved any pi bonds off of it yet. So this arrow now is illegal. It would exceed an octet. So what can we do to make this legal? Well, we've got to move this pi bond away. It would, be, it would be okay for this carbon to form a new pi bond if it just lost this pi bond. Is this legal? Well, we already know that this arrow is legal um, because even though it's forming a pi bond, the carbon that's getting the pi bond is also losing a pi bond. So this arrow is fine. Now, how about this arrow? Well, now we're forming a pi bond on this carbon, and this carbon is also losing this pi bond. So this carbon is both gaining a pi bond and losing a pi bond. That's fine. It's fine to gain a pi bond if you lose a pi bond. And now we have to check this arrow over here. Well, once again, this arrow is forming a pi bond, so we've got to be careful. Uh, but who's gaining the new pi bond here? This atom here is gaining the new pi bond. Uh, but this atom is also losing a pi bond from the initial arrow that we talked about at the beginning. 
So we don't need to worry about exceeding an octet on this carbon. Even though it's gaining this pi bond, it's losing this pi bond. So this arrow is also okay. It's okay to make this pi bond because the atom that's gaining the pi bond is also losing a pi bond. So this is perfectly okay. These are all legal arrows. This is a pattern that we saw a while ago in the videos when I was giving you the arrows and you were drawing resonance structures. I gave you a few examples like this where we had a whole cycle of arrows. So we can see why a cycle of arrows um, is a good pattern because if you have a cycle of arrows, um, it's, it's perfectly fine to make new pi bonds because each new pi bond um, is going to make room for another pi bond coming in behind it. Here we have a cycle where we're moving each pi bond to make room for the pi bond that's coming in behind it. So every single new pi bond here is being formed with an atom that's also losing a pi bond. Every atom here is both gaining and losing a pi bond. So none of them have to worry about exceeding an octet. So this is legal.